Ah, the blue screen of death. Happens to the best of us. This is a blue screen for Windows 2000. You can see here it says to run the check disk F. To check for hard drive corruption. Uh, it's forward slash R on the Windows XP. Most times when you get a blue screen, it'll list a file name near the top of the blue screen. And it'll tell you why it crashed. And then down on the bottom where it says technical information, it has a stop error. These are the numbers you need to focus on. And if it does list a file name, um, it will go in to find that file name and change the name of it. I've created that file just to show you how to uh, go in and delete it or change it. Um, if you're in XP, you'll see a search in here. Um, if you're running Vista or Windows 7, you go to My Computer, type in that file name, and search for it. And when it finds that file, uh, you can right click on it and it'll open file location or go to file location and it'll take you right to it and it'll already be highlighted. Just right click on it, go to rename and then at the end type in like dot old and then hit save. That changes the type of the file so it can't run anymore. And then you should be able to restart your computer. And most of the times it'll replace that file with the one that's, that works. So here we have another example. This is a different error, which the, this file was the cause of it. So you would go in and search for that file and then rename it to that old. And also this stop error here will tell you a little bit more about what happened to that. And if you Google this stop error, you'll find out more information about uh, this file and what caused it to crash. Google search stop 0x12345 6d1 Now you can search just for that, or you can go back and uh, search, add this to the search also, gv3.sys. Hit search. And you see this result here has the stop error in it and also has the file in it. So we'll go into there and see what they say. And then it gives you resolutions to the problem. Tells you how to fix that particular file and crash number. You could do that with any one of these stop errors and, and uh, hopefully it gives you a file name also. But if there's no file name then just enter in the stop error in the Google, the first letters. This is a blue screen for Windows 98. Control Alt Delete to restart your computer. This also gives you uh, a stop error and tells you where it happened. And you can type these numbers into Google and it'll take you to the same type of troubleshooting. This is another blue screen, unmountable boot volume. Um, it doesn't lift, list a file name. It does give you another stop error. So we're going to search for that stop error. It's usually six zeros. Stop. Zero X. E D. And there it says, first one's up, unmonable boot volume error. The 
There's a resolution. Now it's telling you to look in the second parameter, which is this set of numbers. Then generally it's the file system that's damaged and you want to run a check disk R. If you don't have Recovery Console installed on your computer, I uh, made a video for that that will give that to you. And we're not the only ones to get blue screens.